dear friends this is my tutorial 50 in VASP in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to construct this wave correlation linear fitting plot using origin so first I will show you that paper what I where I use the data to plot that one so this is the paper this is the Catalyst Science and Technology Manus uh, paper, so published in 2017. So here, if you go down, you will see the data where I use. So I use this E2 and E3 data. E2 means that initial structure energies. E3 means transition state energy. These are the regular MGO supported single atom catalyst. So here they constructed that uh, linear uh, fit with correlations so this is the one this is the plot i'm going to reproduce for you so this is the initial gv this 30 s ev energies so i will show you how to linearly fit this data so for that first open our origin So we need that data. So I already made that uh, one big correlation. Thumb. Just I will copy the data from there. Go to book. Just you can uh, copy this unit data. So here. so now I will tell you how to plot this one first you need to select this uh, two columns and uh, go to plot and uh, go to scatter and you can select this one you will get that your plot so if you want to uh, cover the top and side line just you can click this one and also go to grids and click opposites here also go to this uh, horizontal and click ok we will get that line so if you want you can also make it bold so if you want to in increase this size of the things so i think this is enough so now so we can change this uh, ts so i already I plotted one more the big correlation I will copy from there our uh, graph is ready here you can also increase 21 22 somewhat good the rating is very small so just increase 22 so this is our plot so we are going to fit linearly this one so this is the important things so please watch carefully this video so here go to analysis here fitting so here a linear fit here you can go to open dialog So here you can see different kind of uh, parameters uh, everything is default parameter no need to change anything so you can skip this fitted curve plot you can uncheck this update legend on source graph just click it ok uncheck that one and you can uh, finally you can uh, click ok if you click ok your data will fit it linearly so click ok so this is our fitted data this is the fitted data so if you want to increase this width size just you can also increase into 2 that's all 
so now we have to put our intercept slope that adjusted r square value this is the very important one so i already made this one just i will copy i will tell you where i took this uh, data so this is ets is 0.65 that means the slope value and also um, And the second one is the intercept value this is minus 0.21 i mentioned this r square value is 0.99 so always we have to use this adjusted r square value this is the more accurate than that r square the cod so that's all so we will compare uh, this value with our reported uh, paper one so if you go down here you can see ETS 0.66 and also EIS 0. Point minus 0. 0.21 or square is 0. 0.99 so we have fitted that uh, this value is uh, exactly matching with uh, order reported one so I will show you that one more thing here so if you open the book you will see the uh, data parameters here you can see yes the statistics section you can see that uh, adjusted r square here also and um, you can also visit that summary section you can see that intercept value minus 0 0.21 and that error and also that uh, slope value and adjusted r square this is the exactly value we used to in the graph so if you want to see that uh, data the linear fitted data so this is the two data uh, we used to linearly fit that graph so that's all so you can also plot your bit correlation like this you can use it for your research purpose So thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you so much for watching my video